Also sits in the middle of a swamp Surrounded by a dense humid forest Your dark shadow took Molly across a rotten wooden bridge Over the swamp to the entrance door At the gate, they were met by two mosquito guard soldiers The top of the door reads Benedictus Nostermacher now special to your majesty, said Lord Dark Shadow to the soldiers. Right here! One soldier entered the door, while the other stayed guarding outside. Soon, a cloaked wooden figure stepped outside the door. Why do you wish to see the queen, Lord Dark Shadow? Grace, this is Mrs. Ball, your motion belly, and have water to the queen. I see. He responded as he analyzed Princess Molly up close, smelling the likes of her, lacing his fingers through her reddish thick hair. Let me see your teeth, dear. He said as he grabbed her by the chin and opened her mouth. He then smiled. Ha <laughs> ha! Roll your TNT! Come with me now! He said. Inside the castle, the walls were made of clay bricks that were textured by dry blood residue, making them brown with a crimson accented color. There were bodies of water all throughout the interior of the castle. Ponds, flowing rivers, fountains. The dew coming from the waters refreshed their lungs. They walked on a wet, slippery clay floor. And they were led by the priest to a large door past the staircase. As the door opened, light from inside the room blinded them, causing their eyes to squint automatically. They walked towards the inside of the room as they became adapted to this new light. Once inside, they realized that the light was being reflected by gold ornaments within the room. At the center of the throne room is the royal throne itself that sits Her Majesty, the powerful Mosquito Queen. Behold the fountains of blood! exclaimed Lord Darshan as he extended his right hand towards the fountain, sprouting a dense liquid which was dull and dark red like withering roses. The Mosquito Queen sits on her throne majestically. Her power springs for the diamond her left hand. With it, she can summon light before her will. Her smile pulls her lust and power, and although the most powerful mystical stone was come from the upper finger, she still exhaled the mystical stones and pierced them, being used against her. Is that why she surrounds herself with cloak? Powerful wizards, she calls priests, who bring her sacrifices to feed her hungry offering, which they grow to become mosquito soldiers and expand her empire. But today, she was being presented with a special gift. Your Highness, this is Princess Molly of Mushroom Belly, said Lord Dark Shadow as he bowed. She glanced at the priest that led them there, who nodded in response. She exclaimed, just as Princess Molly was being forced to kneel before the Mosquito Queen, another priest changed the throne room, slamming the door against the wall. Its loud, thudding sound startled everyone. What did this mean? Asked the Mosquito Queen in distress. Please forgive my rough and Your Majesty, but I have started. Bring me the all-seeing crystal. I want to see.